In honor of our Greek guests, I thought I would take a moment and go back to what some very important ancient Greeks had to say about markets, Plato and Aristotle. Both of them were very critical of markets. I, and this will come as a blow to some of you who think markets were actually first discovered and put forward in the Bible. That wasn't the case. Jesus seemed relatively uninterested in Bibles. Uh, excuse me, in markets. What a slip. Uh, the, but we go back to we go back to Plato and Aristotle, and they were both very critical. They both saw both of them saw markets as dangerous for what they called social cohesion. Markets make people, as we can see, upset by the fact that goods and services are being produced for the rich, for those who have the money, and not for the people who don't. They don't. Supply doesn't meet demand. Supply meets who can afford it. And if you have unequal distribution, the affordance are a small number, disproportionate to the rest, and the markets serve them. That's what markets do. And that produces, Plato and Aristotle, envy, resentment, hostility, and it destroys the community. The only disagreement really between Plato and Aristotle was what to do about it. Plato said, get rid of it. Aristotle said, no, it'll be so dis socially disruptive to get rid of it. What we ought to do is regulate it. Make sure it we get from it what it can do for a society, and we prevent it from all the terrible things it can do to a society. With that mentality, the notion that we should have free markets is anathema. Another Greek word, anathema. <laughs> Not good. Bad thing. Don't do it. Don't do it. 